Anyone wanting to earn a decent living may be best advised to avoid the arts. They're paid much less than comparable professionals who have the same level of training and experience as artists, and yet they get really, uh, well, it's about half as much. Professor David Throsby's study of 44,000 professional artists reveals they struggle financially with a median income of just $35,000 a year. And there's certainly no political force, perhaps too busy singing for their supper. Neither of the major political parties appear to believe arts funding is a vote catcher. There wasn't even an audience when Arts Minister Peter Garrett announced his policy in Melbourne's Athenian Theatre. We've taken the politics out of the arts and we've put the policy in. He promised a $10 million boost to the Australia Council for the Arts if re-elected. The coalition has backed the movies, promising a $60 million loan fund for Australian films. The coalition is very committed to the future of Australia's arts sector. There's a great irony about the status of artists in the Australian community. On the one hand, our painters, performers and filmmakers are often seen as the elite. But when it comes to income, they're more likely to be at the bottom of the heap. After nine years as a professional artist, Shannon Creese earns around $45,000 a year, better than most. But she lags well behind her peers and other jobs. Friends um, in my age group are buying houses and cars and things way out of the calibre that I can, I can afford with my, yeah, with my finance and with my job. The money might be low, but artists' passions still run high. With or without government support, most want to continue their creative journeys. Anne-Maria Nicholson, ABC News.